Hey, loan officers, it's Scott Groves from Consolidated Coaching reminding you to just focus on the next 60 days. Focus on the next 60 days. What do I mean by that? Forget what happened January 1st through whatever today is, October 25th, and don't uh, worry about whatever your annual goal was. Way back on January 1st, you probably filled out a business plan, which is probably sitting in your bottom drawer. Maybe you haven't looked at it since you filled out the business plan. And either you are way exceeding the lofty goals you set on January 1st, or you're coming up short of those lofty goals. Very few people plan exactly where they're going to be in 10 months and get there. So if uh, let's talk about both of these scenarios. If you have significantly underperformed the goal that you set out, which frankly I have, wanted to do a lot more business this year, had a child, had some disruptions in my business, not quite where we wanted to be, but I'm really excited about where the next 90 days are going, but I have to let that go, right? I can't control the past. I can't control the business that we did January through September. All I can do is focus on the present and work to the future. So if you're way under expectations, let's just pick it up together the next 60 days, focus on the lead origination activity, focus on quality apps, focus on closing as many loans as you can between now and the end of the year and riding that wave of momentum of good lead generation activities into the calendar year 2017. On the other side of the coin, if you've crushed your goals, if you set really low goals, um, or you've just had a breakthrough year and you're far exceeding your expectations from that business plan back on January 1st, don't allow that to give you an excuse to kind of coast over the next 60 days. You might have done such a great job this year that you're going to use the excuse, well, the holidays are coming up. I've already exceeded my goal. I'm going to coast a little bit and see what happens the next 60 days. And I guarantee if you do that, remember, we're in a pipe pipeline business. So if you do that, you will completely destroy your quarter one 2017. I see it every single year meeting with clients, uh, uh, coaching clients that are in the mortgage business. Their first quarter of the year is dismal because they took their foot off the gas the last quarter of the year due to the big success that they're having. So again, whether or not you underperformed or overperformed year to date, Put that behind you. It's the past. Work on the activities today that are going to close out 2016 in a very successful manner. And we hope to be your partner in that coaching alongside of you. Leave a comment, like the video. Let me know what your thoughts about how much business you're going to close the last 60 days of 2016. And I can tell you our plan is to help 40 families fund about $20 million in loans. So I'm putting out that there publicly. I hope that you hold me accountable. And if you want to be held accountable for your goals, how many families you want to help, how many loans you want to close, put it in the comments below and we'll keep checking in on each other. Scott Groves, Consolidated Coaching. We'll talk to you soon.